The goal for crypto traders is to grow your bank account, not your oddly high egos. I don't believe in astrology. If I want to see a star, I just just look in the mirror. I let the stocks decide my mood. Keeping a low profile can actually lead to better rewards. First of all, looking poor frees you from always being unsatisfied. Think about every time you hit some kind of milestone. Maybe you bought a new setup or you bought a nicer car, or maybe you just didn't stay up until 8 a.m. to blow your money on a trade for Dogecoin. but it's like a new set of high standards suddenly just surround you. Kind of like a never ending game where the rules keep changing. So look, you buy a great car. For a little while, you feel amazing. Then you notice your friend's car is even better than yours. What the fuck? So then all that joy that you built up from that Dogecoin trade is gone. Well, if this is you, don't worry, because this is real and scientists call it the hedonic treadmill. Yeah, it's literally just like a treadmill. No matter how fast you run, you're not going anywhere. But the same thing goes with happiness. No matter how many new items you buy or new cars that you get, your overall happiness will usually stay the same. Once a person makes enough money to cover for shelter, food, and bills, you adapt to that level of wealth. And with that, you just no longer feel excitement. Same thing goes with the iPhone. You just went and upgraded for the 15 Pro Max, and you're really excited for the next week but then in seven days you're ready for the next upgrade the cycle repeats with everything now working in crypto trading with really good risk management skills can easily bring you over eight thousand dollars a month once you've mastered those skill sets so it's very easy to fall into the earn money spend money trap then subconsciously you'll want to start keeping up with people's appearances so then you spend a lot of your money trying to look successful that's not where the focus should be if you're making six figures from crypto and spending one fourth of your earnings on clothes and you don't even like clothes that much then what the hell are you doing what the fuck this is called giving up your freedom of choice you gotta walk away from the things that don't serve you and you see the type of hate you get when you wear crazy stuff like this look at tyrese halliburton's instagram comments i am convinced bro Desert when he gets dressed pronto. it is dark <laughs> Enough said. The third reason why looking poor is important is because it takes you out of survival mode. Einstein said a calm and modest life brings more happiness than the pursuit of success combined with constant restlessness. Oh yeah, that's my favorite saying. That's my favorite saying. Let's be honest, 95% of Americans feel stressed about their money and worry about their finances at least once a week. Living a calm life is pretty much essential for keeping peace of mind and not having anxiety 24 seven. For instance, if you don't make that much money yearly and almost half of your income is going to your car, then you're obviously just not gonna have peace of mind. That's why the bigger the gap is in your expenses, the more freedom and flexibility that you'll have. Number four is the power of authentic living. I've met a good amount of extremely wealthy people but it was hard to tell just how wealthy they were because they mastered the art of looking poor and fitting in i didn't know they had million dollar shopify stores or six figures from youtube adsense or even that they were ceos of big companies until they felt comfortable enough to tell me those things they live an authentic lifestyle they're humble and really down to earth people plus looking and acting rich usually ruins your first impression but you can always change that just like how youtube changed my life so go check that out but don't forget to subscribe.